I grew up right around the corner from the library, and my first job was actually across the street raising and lowering the flagpole uh, every day. I mean, really, this is Norman Rockwell stuff. I had a basket, I put the flag in the, in the basket, I'd ride down the street, put up the flag, and then I'd come over here and see what's happening at the library. When I'd walk in the library, our, the library and Marjorie Dodge was there. She'd been there for decades. She was a neighbor, and she just set such a warm and welcoming tone that everybody, even us rough and tumble kids, could come in and have a good time. So a library's role in a community is really to level the playing field for everybody. It's one of the only places in our culture where you can go and get things for free. Uh, whether they be educational or cultural. So we try to provide technology for people who might not be able to afford it, help people with technology they might not know how to use, have any educational resource that somebody might need to sort of keep their lifelong learning going and, and sort of work through whatever they're working through or learning about. It certainly does take a village to build a library in Rockport Village. Uh, there are residents, sure, there are committees. Uh, I think going back to just to start at the top of the town food chain, uh, you have town managers. Uh, and, and I actually came in after all the hard work had been done, thankfully, but, but Rick Bates uh, and Bill Post, my predecessors, played a big role certainly on the town side. But uh, we had select board members who were diligently involved. Uh, the foundation has <laughs> been tremendous, obviously. The friends, the library committee, uh, there are so many different pockets and pieces of people who collaborated to make this possible. It's an endless number in some cases. When we had the opening, it was such a tremendous event, but you looked around and everybody, there was a little piece of everybody in what made the building possible. It was such a great event. We've built a building that will allow new residents, old residents, natives, folks from away, all of them to come together in one place and also learn and get, take out a book and uh, go to a class about cooking or friend, and go with their French group or it's all over the map. And that's, that's a pretty powerful piece. There's a lot of things you do as a town manager washouts, drainage, culverts, things that aren't so exciting. This is, this is in part the toy department. This is where it's fun and exciting. It allows you to see people having fun, having enjoyment, and uh, there aren't many opportunities for that town government, so you relish them when, when you have them. The building itself, I believe, is a symbol of Rockport's commitment to community and education. Um, it's this nice, beautiful building at the top of the hill, and when you drive in, you see a library. And that just says, oh, these people care about education and culture and a community space for everybody. When I think about the responsibility of managing a community with a new, an asset and, and a new building like this, I think back to when I was that kid on the bike riding down Lime Rock Street. And I want that next generation, as I was, to have that same wonder and amazement. And so this is really an opportunity about the town and, and my responsibility to pay it forward to that next generation.